Kia ora. In this video, we're going to look at adding an artist to Music Brains. Um, so we have searched for the artist. Uh, we've done a good search, check, spelt it correctly, and we're certain that the artist isn't in the database. Um, I'm also registered and logged in, and then I can add an artist, which is pretty straightforward. So we're going to click on editing at the top here at musicbrains.org, and I'm going to click on Add Artist. Okay, now this is going to bring up uh, the Add Artist page. Right at the top, we've got Documentation and Style Guidelines. So if you get stuck, um, just feel free to refer to these. They should have everything that you need. But for now, um, it is going to be pretty straightforward. So this band that I'm adding is a New Zealand band. It's called Nocturnals. Um, and this name field here, it's pretty straightforward. We're going to type it in. Now there is a little button here that you're going to find useful. So let's just say I typed it in like this. And this button is Guess Case. It's got some options here. Uh, we'll let, uh, we won't look into it now. But this lets you set stuff like um, the language for Guess Case and so on. I click on Guess Case. And it's going to uppercase the first N. And that is because in Music Brains we use Title Case. Uh, unless you think that a band has done something on purpose like this, uh, if you're not sure if it's on purpose, um, you just always go with guess case. Now, um, let's make it a little bit more complicated because sort name in this case is pretty simple. You can actually just click here, guess sort name or copy name, and uh, this is just how we some people might want to sort their libraries like this let's say it was the nocturnals and then we hit guess sort name it's going to put the article at the back so the sort name gets used in a couple of situations um, the most one most obvious one is let's say we've got bob paul here we're going to go uh, last name and then first name and then again anything with an article like the beatles the sort name will be beatles uh, if you hate this kind of uh, naming, don't worry about it. You can always use the name, but this is how we do it in Music Brains for the sort name. Now, but in this case, we've got Nocturnals, and we will copy that. Now, let's say uh, we're adding an artist that there's already one of the same name in the database. So just for uh, this example, I've put the Nocturnals, and we do have possible duplicates. So in this situation, what I would have to do is, well, I'd check first. I'd go to this page and just double check, which I will do here, actually. Let's just double check. No, okay, trance uh, 2000s. That is not the New Zealand uh, horror punk band that I'm adding. So I would say, yes, I still want to enter the nocturnals. And the disambiguation field would become required. So in this case, New Zealand horror punk, I would type that in. To help people see the difference to these. Now we are actually entering a band called Nocturnals, so we don't have these duplicates. But I'm still going to leave the disambiguation because, as we saw, this name isn't that uncommon, and we do want to make sure it doesn't get confused with one of the the Nocturnals. So disambiguation, uh, country and genre, more than enough. You might want to add the decade, so on. Um, but this is really it. This is all we need to enter. Um, really, name, sort name, easy. So the other thing we need to put in is an edit note. And now I will type in information from, and I've got a, um, I've got a website where I've got this information. I just paste it in a Bandcamp link. Uh, links are, the, are really useful to put into edit notes because other editors can follow these links and double check. Oftentimes, though, you don't have any information that others can check, and that's perfectly fine. I just put uh, from CD in hand. Uh, that is a perfectly legitimate edit note. But again, in this case, uh, we've got the link, and even just the link, that's fine. So now we could uh, hit Enter Edit. Don't worry about make all edits votable for something like this. This button's more for if you're making an edit that you think would ruffle some feathers, you want to get some other opinions before it goes through. Um, but in a case like this, you can always fix things up later. Uh, it's not 
changing anything that's already existing, so we'll just hit enter edit. Before I do that, let's have a quick look at the other fields. Um, so in this case, we've got we want to enter as much as possible um, to help other people make use of this artist entry. So under type, uh, person, pretty straightforward if it's a person. Uh, group, also pretty forward. Choir, orchestra, again, all pretty straightforward. Now, character is for fictional characters. Uh, something is credited to a cartoon character, for instance. We can do character and add voice actors to that character. Uh, and other, if something doesn't fit into these. So in this case, I know it's a group because Bandcamp has credits for a whole bunch of people. Now, area, I also know that it's a New Zealand band. Uh, I've already used that recently, so it's predicting that I want it. But here we go, we've got New Zealand. You can also add a uh, more specific area or region or town if we want. But uh, what I know, we've got New Zealand here. And, the more, and if a band travels around and that kind of thing, it's probably better to save the more detailed information or found it in. So here, if I know the town, let's see, maybe I do. No, I don't. But let's say I knew that they were in this town called Dunedin in New Zealand, that that's where they were founded, then I'd put that in there. In this case, uh, I will just leave this blank. Um, anyway, let's, uh, so we've got IPI codes and ISNI codes here under area. I don't have any of those. You can also add multiple by clicking this plus here. Get rid of them again. Um, but I don't have any of them. Um, now the dates, again, um, I'm not sure in this case, but this is, let's say they were founded, 2000, uh, Dunedin, and then when they dissolved, if you know that the band ended, we can enter it here as well, um, and they might have broken up somewhere else, like Targo, this is all useful information. Uh, again, I'm going to delete it all because I don't know much about this band. But it shouldn't stop me from enter, adding an entry. I know enough. Okay, now add relationships. Now this is uh, this is if it's got a link to another band. So for instance, a band member. Um, Bob. Here we go. Let's say Bob Dylan is a member of the Nocturnals. We will put, uh, in this case, members. Bob Dylan. We're not going to go too in depth into this. Uh, add relationships because that's this whole, whole other thing. Search for another video. In this case, I don't know who's in this band. Uh, Bandcamp's not that specific, just first names. So all we're left with is external links. Now I don't have any external links because this link here isn't to a link for this band. So uh, it's Demon Nation is the label and the album. So this link is actually linked to the album. And this this band from a while ago doesn't have its own band camp. Uh, other links here will be official homepage. Uh, so let's say we've got www.homepage.com. Now we do here and then we'll go official homepages. Uh, let's say it did have a... Um, a Facebook page. Again, we can't add this because it's the label page. I've just copied that out. Let's add this. It's going to automatically uh, apply the types. We've got social networking. Uh, you might want to add other databases, links to other databases, social media sites, YouTube, um, so on. But again, in this case, these aren't the correct links. They're going to the uh, to the label. Remove those. Um, and look, we've left most of this blank. But I'm pretty happy with this. We've got the group, the area, a disambiguation. People can find this and make use of it. And now I can click Enter Edit. And here we go. Congratulations. You've uh, added an artist. Now, this is a good example um, because we haven't added any links or relationships. So we get this warning here. And this trips a lot of people up. If you read this, it says... This artist has no relationships, recordings, releases, or release groups, 
will be removed automatically in the next few days. If this is not intended, please add more data to this artist. So basically, if I add an album, a link to another URL, uh, to a band member, another database, this is going to stick around. Otherwise, it's going to get automatically removed and we'll have to enter it again. So just make sure that uh, you add some details, maybe a CD, a release to this group after entering it, uh, and then it will stick around.